Hi, I'm Kerry Watson, and I'm back on your YouTube screen with Skeletons in the Closet by Jean-Patrick Manchette, a French writer, a French crime writer, um, who wrote, well, didn't specialize in, but wrote what uh, the French call Romain Dieu, which uh, literally translates as hard novels. Uh, what the equivalent in English would probably be just to say noir. Now, uh, Jean-Patrick Manchette is, uh, it can be quite good and he can be not very good. And this one, um, is not very good. It's about a private detective named Eugene Tarpo. Um, supposedly he wrote, uh, two novels featuring this detective. And the plot is just a hot mess, uh, of coincidence and plots and counterplots. And it just gets bogged down in its own intricacies. Not good. Uh, but he has written uh, at least two good ones uh, that I've read, uh, Fatal and The Prone Gunman. Uh, the Prone Gunman was actually filmed uh, by John Penn, uh, did a version of it, which I don't think followed the book very closely. Uh, but um, what I really wanted to talk about was the Romain Deux. The, the French hard novels. Um, uh, Manchette is just one of quite a few French novelists who specialize in this genre. Uh, the granddaddy of them all being Georges Simino, the Maigret novels. Uh, the Maigrets are police procedurals, uh, not too hard, not too noir, but uh, Simino wrote a lot of uh, standalone novels which certainly fit this mold, and they characteristics of them uh, have been followed by successive French writers. Um, the main thing, one of the main elements, is all these novels are very thin. If you look at this, this is almost fat compared to some of these. Um, he, they're fat but very effective and they typically are, uh, give a kicking to the middle classes uh, whom, uh, who the uh, French writers typically find uh, grasping petty, uh, conservative, uh, hypocritical. Uh, Manchette and uh, another writer I'll tell you about also uh, take the view that once you scratch under the surface of the middle class, you find uh, a whole bunch of latent violence, uh, hatred that uh, bubbles up if they feel their position in, in society is threatened. Now, some of the other uh, French novelists in this field, it's worth checking into, I had to write down their names, there's a clear few. A, and I'll put the pictures on the screen of some of their novels. There's Dominique Minotti. Uh, she has written some really politically charged Romain Dios, which are uh, really good. Um, they, uh, they deal with corruption at the upper, in the upper echelons of French society and business. Um, hers might be standout that she's written is a detective novel called Dead Horse Meat. Uh, then there's a pair of writers, a team of writers, uh, known as Boileau and Narsajac. And they wrote in the 50s and 60s, I believe, and most famous for the novel that was the basis for Hitchcock's film Vertigo. And it's really interesting to read that one, um, because the subtle it's, Hitchcock's film follows the, the plot very closely, but the novel is set in occupied France, and there is, there is the, a subtext about collaboration, uh, which is sort of the intellectual spine of the novel, which makes it, uh, it, makes it very interesting to read. Uh, another one is Pascal Garnier, who might be the all-star in this field. He writes the, the, the durest of the romanders. They are nasty. They are acidic. Um, and he, of all of these writers, uh, really uh, exposes or uh, talks about uh, the horrors of the middle class. And his best novel in this regard might be Moon and a Dead Eye, which is a surreal take on what happens when uh, society's conventions uh, fall apart. Uh, similar, another of his novels along these lines is called The Islanders. He wrote a lot, and uh, each is nastier than the next. And if you like that, fantastic. Uh, another one, uh, Frederic Dard, who is more of a 
leaning towards the mystery end uh, of this uh, subgenre, but uh, and he's written some really brilliant ones. But his uh, his best might be one called Crush, uh, which is not really a crime novel. It, it it veers into Patricia Highsmith territory. In fact, if it had been written by her, it probably wouldn't be regarded as one of her very best. And it's quite simply about a a young girl, well, teenager, who develops a crush on an American couple living in a French town, uh, and things don't go well because of that. It. Why it hasn't been filmed, I don't know. It may have in France and we haven't heard about it, but it is, it is fantastic. And then we have Leo Millet, uh, prob might be the least known. Um, they, some of his novels were published in English, oh, back in the 80s, I think, uh, maybe even the 70s. And he's more of a traditional Raymond Chandler uh, type writer. Uh, his detective, Nestor Burma, the wonderfully named Nestor Burma, is a two-fisted gumshoe who talks wise and throws his fists around. Uh, and he's fun. Um, and then last, we have an unpronounceable French author named Didier, and his last name, I'll show it on the screen. He, uh, he is also a bit like Dominique Minotti uh, and Manchette in that uh, politics comes into his writing, into his crime writing. Uh, has not written a tremendous amount. Um, but another another excellent uh, producer uh, of uh, Romain Dios. And one last name I can so th throw in is Sebastian Japrasot. He sort of would be outside this. He produces, he's written some of the most brilliantly plotted novels, thrillers for both uh, for screen and uh, in his uh, in novels that there uh, have been. Um, he, his last most famous one was the film based on his book called The Very Long Engagement, starring Audrey uh, Tattoo. Uh, and an older film you may be aware of, it's worth looking up, is Adieu L'Ami with uh, Charles Bronson and Alain Delon. Anyway, those are a bunch of authors, French authors, you should check out uh, for their, their uh, Romain Dieu. And I'm getting tired of saying that last word. It's difficult on the lips. And here's my own Romain Dieu, except it's far too thick. So it's a Romain Dieu et Gros. And it's set in California, Nevada. It's nasty. It's got criminals. It's got murders. It's everything you want. And thanks for watching. Bye.